Hey class, today we're going into a hog barn today. We're going to be looking at about 2,400 head pigs today and a couple different features of what a finishing pig barn looks like. So our first step is we're going to be looking at some feed bins. So many of you might know what feed is, but feed is what we're going to be feeding to pigs in order to help them grow and that way we can make bacon and get that to our plate. So these are our feed bins. As you can see, they're pretty big and there's four of them here. And they have an auger that goes up. So the feed drops all the way down and then it gets brought in all the way to the pig barn for the pigs. And we'll see that a little bit later. But each bin right here has about 15 tons of feed. So if you can do the math, one ton equals about 2,000 pounds of feed. That's about 30,000 pounds of feed just in one of these bins. You do more math, that's four bins times 30,000 pounds. It's about 120,000 pounds that pigs can have here. Now we don't stock that full all the time because feed can go bad if it sits for a while. But most of the time, at least one of these bins is full. All right, a couple other features of a pig barn is this is a tunnel barn. So it acts just like a tunnel and we'll get more of a visualization about what that looks like. But the main feature right here is this curtain. So air is going to be pulled through this curtain when it's down all the way through the barn and we'll see that here in a bit. A couple other features is we have some loadouts. So you can see the higher loadout right here on the left. This one's used for a semi truck. So that's how we load pigs out or load pigs in. And then we also have a low loadout. So if we have a smaller trailer, usually a gooseneck, that's why we bring pigs in. And then we have our front door and then our office. Then one other feature about this is we see our grain bins right there too, is we have a dead box here. So any animals that pass away or that need to be put down, we drag to this dead box and then a truck comes and picks it up. So an important part about raising pigs is biosecurity. And biosecurity is keeping all bacteria or any diseases outside of the pig barn because we want our pigs to stay healthy. But pigs do die, so we do have to drag them and we put them in this bed box. A truck comes and picks them up and kind of like a crane and then they take them off and then they mulch them up and then it gets put into fertilizer and different things like that. Okay, moving on, now we are in the loadout area. So this is a smaller room. You can see here, we have one room right here, and then we have another room here. So this is where the pigs are going to be coming in and out of when we're loading them in. They come, we saw this, where the semi trucks back up to here, and then we run them down if we're receiving, and then we're sending them out, we send here, and then we'll take a board from here to here, and then close it off. That way the pigs can shuffle through nicely. A couple other things is that when we do have to give pigs medication, sometimes it's easier to give pigs medication through water versus giving each individual pig a shot. So these are water medicators. So all we have to do is put medication like aspirin is a common medication. We put it through the water and then the pigs drink it when they're drinking water. It's very simple and very quick and easy. We also have boots. Those are pretty essential to wearing when you're in a hog barn. A couple other things is we have some tools and when we're handling animals, and we'll look at that here in a couple days, is that it's very important to handle animal animals properly and safely and respectfully because the animal is a living being and we need to be respectful of them. So we have a couple different things. This one is called a bifold panel. So as you can see, it folds, two sides, bifold. That's what we're using when we're gonna sort or bring pigs out of pen. And then we also just have a plain board. So these help move animals you don't hit pigs with them. All you're basically doing is moving them and acting like a gate. A couple other things we have is we have these rattle paddles. So when we're walking pens, and we'll see that here in a bit, we take these rattle paddles and they have BBs in here. And we shake them and then it gets pigs to move and they're moving out of the way and that way they, it's more, the sound and the visual is what gets pigs to move. Couple other things, this cart right here, this cart is what we use to carry dead pigs out with. Unfortunately, we do have dead pigs, so we have to, rather than dragging it, which 300 pound pigs are pretty heavy when you're dragging them. So this cart, we just crank up onto it and it's pretty easily. Couple other things, we have an office. So this is our office area. We keep our medications, any tools, cleaning supplies, clothes, 
and then also some paperwork that we keep track of any deads or pigs that we receive and then any treatments that we have. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little louder because pigs can be pretty loud. So now we're in the pig barn and in this room, there's about 1,200 head or 1,200 pigs in this room. When we start to load out, when they're going to go to market, it go drops down, but we keep this room right about 1,200 pigs. We might stock a little bit more, but usually it's right around that 1,200 pound mark. So as you can see behind me is that curtain that we saw from the outside. So this curtain, when it gets warm out in the summer is going to drop down. This is going to allow air to come through. And as you can see in the back, we'll go closer, is we have these tunnel fans back there. Those fans suck all the air from this curtain right here, all the way back and they cover it all across the pigs and it cools them down, which is pretty neat. Another very nice thing that when it gets hot and warm out is to help pigs cool down is we have sprinklers. So just like you may run across the yard and run through the sprinkler to cool down, pigs have the same thing. So this little deal right here, this is a mister. So this is what we use. We turn water on and it mists the pigs. And we don't run it all day, but we run it on intervals. So maybe five minutes out of every hour, 10 minutes out of every hour, just to keep the pigs cool and to keep the air cool. So we were looking at how feed comes into the barn. And right here, this is the auger that pigs are going, that feed's going to come through. That feed's gonna come all the way down and it's going to drop at each individual feeder in this barn. So there's about, 20 feeders in this room, 10 on each side, and those fill up. These are smaller feeders to what a normal barn would have, but usually these pigs can, these feeders hold about one to two tons of feed at any given time if they're full. This is really nice because if for some reason a motor breaks down or the feed or a bin is empty, it allows to at least have two tons of feed in here to get pigs through a day or eight hours or so just to get them feeding. Okay, so we're looking at the feed bin. This is what feed looks like. Okay, so it looks kind of like cornmeal if you've ever seen that. Looks just like that. So this is made out of corn, this is made out of bakery byproduct, or anything that companies that make your cereal don't use. We use that and put that back into feed, that way we're not wasting it. Also a big ingredient is soy. Soy allows protein and makes muscle in pigs, which helps pigs grow pretty big in muscle. We also have water down here, as you can see a water nipple. And pigs drink out of here, and that's how they are also getting their liquids and other things that they need for their diet. So sometimes pigs get sick, and when they get sick, we have to give them a shot, which just like a flu shot or something to help you get better, and we put pigs into a sick pen. So this is our sick pen. So as you can see, a normal pen has about 25 to 30 pigs in it. A sick pen has less than half that. So these help the pigs recuperate, they help them heal and get better. And we usually leave them here all the way until loadout or when we send them to market. That way they're not getting roughed up or injured anymore. This allows them to gain their strength and their energy back and then they stay nice and strong. We treat them with a couple different medications, but usually it's one that helps them loosen their joints up because sometimes pigs are notorious for being real stiff. So we have to give them a medication or a shot that keeps them loose and keep them moving. So in the winter time, it can get cold in a hog barn if there aren't any pigs in here or when pigs are smaller. So what we use is we use this heater right here and this heater allows heat to come through and it warms the barn up. The heater isn't running all the time, but it might run three or four hours a day if the pigs are small. Right now, these pigs are about 220, uh, 250 pounds. So they don't need a lot of heat. Actually, these heaters probably aren't running at all. In fact, the fans are running. So that's what we're gonna look at next. As we saw the curtain all the way down there. <coughs> if that curtain's down, these fans right here are going to suck all the air from down there and it's going to travel all the way across the pigs and cool down and get sucked out of these fans and then it goes outside the barn. So right now that curtain isn't down, but what we have are these things called inlets right here. So these inlets, if we looked up there, that goes into the attic. So on the outside of the hog barn, there are holes or openings in the roof that allow air to travel through. 
air gets sucked through those holes and then through down through these inlets and out the barn through those fans or through these side fans over here and that allows the pigs to cool down and usually this only happens during when pigs when it's not so hot out but when it's hot out those that curtain drops all the way and all these fans run and it keeps the pigs nice and cool so we've been talking a lot about temperature and the big things that affect pig health other than feed and then just natural sickness is temperature and airflow so we have these handy dandy things right here and this is called the temperature probe so this is very much like a thermometer but it tells there's a computer inside the office that we just saw that monitors the airflow and monitors the temperature so we know when those curtains or these inlets need to open up or the fans need to run this makes sure that if it's really hot in this barn and we're not here, that curtain's going to drop down or those fans are going to turn on or those sprinklers are going to come on in order to ensure the pigs are gonna stay nice and cool and happy. Pigs usually like it colder when they're bigger and warmer when they're smaller. So that's why you'll see pigs when they start out with, they might be in an 80 degree nursery barn, which is different, is somewhat similar to this barn, but it might be, uh, it might have different fencing or flooring, and then it might have different feeders. But this is a finishing barn, so usually when pigs come in here, we start them about 75, 74 degrees, just to get them, and then we drop it all the way down to about 58 degrees. Alrighty, so that's the scoop today, guys. I hope you got a lot of wonderful information and a lot of new stuff that you haven't seen before. Pig barns are really cool, and as long as they're being run properly and safely, they can do a lot of good. So for me, and the pigs. Have a great day.